Uh, good morning, I'm Jerry Dias, National President of Unifor. I'd like to welcome all of our local unions from the forestry sector here today. This is a very important lobby. It's very important that our voices are heard by this federal government. It's very important that we articulate uh, the concerns of our members. This lobby in Ottawa is critical because of the softwood lumber dispute that is going to be renegotiated between Canada and the United States. Uh, it is incredibly important that this government understands that we ought not to approach those negotiations from a position of weakness. The reality is we are a nation so rich in raw materials and natural resources that we should be utilizing our strengths in order to ensure that we negotiate a solid agreement on behalf of our members. So when we come to Ottawa and we push and we lobby, it really is about making sure that the government understands the priorities of working class people. If you take a look at the budget that came down yesterday, some key pieces were in the budget as a result of the negotiations or, excuse me, our lobbying efforts here in Ottawa. I take a look at the facts that our taxi driver members are in much better shape today because of the HST and GST put on Uber. I take a look at the fact that the government understands that it's important to have the labor movement and the labor voice involved in trade discussions, especially when we start talking about trade disputes. We're hoping, of course, that's going to lead to a much broader uh, situation where the labor movement will be in included in all trade negotiations. When I start to hear about a national child care program, this is something that the labor movement has been fighting for for years. When I see that there's changes to the unemployment insurance um, rules in order to expand benefits and give people more opportunities. It's certainly a step in the right direction and these are once again issues that our union has been lobbying for and lobbying for in a significant way. So we need to understand that the purpose of lobbying is to make sure that we invoke the type of changes that are so important for working class people. And this happens when we push, this happens when we articulate our point of view, this happens when we're consistent in our arguments, and this happens when we're deeply principled and determined. So these meetings in Ottawa are about our members, it's about our members' livelihood, and it's also about the communities in which we live in. That's why this week is so important to our union, to our members in the communities in which we live. So let's get the job done. Thank you very much.